I apologize in advance if this hurts your feelings, but you are under extracting your coffee at home. I'm Ryde, your chief espresso officer. Hear me out. I know you're gonna think, no, I'm not. I'm making perfect coffee. Well, maybe you are. However, I've been in the business long enough and spoken to enough people to realize that people are, generally speaking, under extracting their coffee at home. And it's not your fault, because you might not have had all of the information. So today, I'm gonna show you a perfect extraction and what to look for to know that you are definitely not under extracting your coffee. So let's get into it. We've got a machine here which is a general representation of a home machine. Obviously there's many different styles and if you want to purchase a home machine, check out my video on what coffee machine to buy in 2022. Now, the good thing about these machines is that they make good quality coffee easily enough for yourself at home. The downside is if you're new to coffee or you haven't been a specialty barista ever, then you're not going to know the warning signals that will tell you that your coffee is under extracted. And what you might just find is that your coffee tastes a little bit weak, a little bit sour, a little bit too fruity or bright or underripe, all of those sort of flavors, that's what you would expect from an under extracted coffee. You might blame the coffee bean. However, I think you've got to understand exactly what you're dealing with. And so I'm gonna show you now what most people do when they make coffee that makes it under extracted and then how to correct that. So if you're watching this video and you don't know what under extracted coffee is, we're talking about getting the maximum amount of yummy flavors out of your coffee. Anything less is under extracted and it changes the way that you experience the coffee. Running the shot too short is going to create a lot of under extracted coffee. What basically you're doing is not allowing the water to dissolve all of the yummy flavors like sugars and oils and other complex chemical compounds and you're not getting them out into the water to be able to drink. They're staying trapped inside those granules of coffee. On the other side is called over extracted and that's when you're extracting too much out of it and it can taste quite bitter and burnt even. So those sort of flavors you probably want to avoid as well. You want to try and get it right in the middle of that perfect extraction and that's what we're going to talk about today. Obviously everyone has a different machine and different experiences. I think for most people that are coming from supermarket coffee or haven't been into specialty coffee but you're wanting to go into it, you're going to have to adjust the way you make coffee because specialty coffee is a slightly lighter roast, more medium to light sort of roast than your regular supermarket coffee which is normally dark roasted and has been that way for many many years. What happens with dark roasted coffee is that even when you under extract coffee it still cuts through the milk and it still delivers that coffee sensation that you think about when you think of coffee that flavor that's distinctly coffee when you go to specialty coffee you're looking for the nuances that sweetness that intense fruitiness those sort of flavors aren't really commonly present in dark roasted supermarket beans so what often happens when you under extract those specialty coffee beans is that they tend to taste too sour, too fruity, too overbearing and don't really cut through the milk as well. Hence you end up with what you think is a weak coffee. So we need to look at how your setup is and then what to look for so that you understand if you're doing an under extracted coffee and how to fix that. So we've got two types of beans here. We have supermarket brand and we have our Il Caramello specialty coffee. I don't know if you can see on screen very easily, but this is actually quite a bit darker in color than these beans over here, meaning they've been roasted a little bit longer. You can see they're a little bit oilier as well than these beans here. So this is typical of supermarket coffee. It's roasted darker, just gives it a bit more oomph and intensity to cut through the milk so that when you drink it at home, you get a really intense coffee flavor, but it is quite bitter. On the other hand, this particular coffee is quite sweet. When you under extract it though, it is going to be more sour. Here, I've got two different types of grinds as well that are matching those beans, and you can't really tell the difference in color between the two, or well, maybe you can, but they're very, very similar once they're ground. So you wouldn't know just by looking at it what exactly you're dealing with. So if you get pre-ground coffee delivered to your home and you can't tell whether it's dark roasted or light or medium roasted, you're going to have to look at your extraction and also the taste to help you know, understand what it is. To get perfect extraction or close to perfect extraction, you can do it by eye, but this is where I 
think that most people are actually under extracting because we all have learned even basic knowledge of how to make coffee at home will not tell you and it's in all of the manuals when it drips it's too fine when it just gushes like water it's too coarse but there's a very fine difference that maybe the trained eye can spot, maybe the new barista doesn't notice this, is when it's not quite too coarse, that it's just gushing through, but it's not dripping either. And there are subtle things to look for. We're gonna show you in detail each step along the way so that you can really identify when your coffee is under extracted, not just from looking at it, but also from understanding it, and obviously the main most important part, drinking it. What I really recommend you doing if you're starting out in coffee or if you just want to get into specialty coffee is buy yourself a set of scales that go down to at least one gram. 0.1 of a gram is great but at least one gram. Don't want anything rounding up to five grams. This you can pick up for 20 bucks on eBay. You can buy mega expensive ones, unnecessary if you're getting started. So just find one that you can buy for 20 bucks around that, that goes down to one or 0.1 of a gram. That's essential. The other thing you need to have is a timer. Now, everyone has a mobile phone. Those mobile phones have timers built into it. You need to start timing your shots, especially if it's new to you, this whole coffee making thing. What we wanna aim for is for each bean that we put through the machine, each gram, we want to extract twice the amount out in liquid. So it's called a ratio of one to two. One gram of coffee, two mils of liquid coffee. That's why you need the scales. Because if you're finding at home that your coffee is tasting a bit more sour, probably you're extracting under that ratio and that's contributing to the flavor. So let's show you what an eyeball coffee looks like and you can tell me whether you think it's under extracted or over extracted or perfect. So, what did you think? Did that look under extracted, over extracted, or perfect? Well, I can tell you that it was under extracted, just slightly. So the keen observer there would have seen that it went a little bit too quickly, even slowed down, it still went a little bit too quickly. If you timed it, you would see that it was under the extraction time, and by the end of it, it was just gushing out. It's really important that you observe and look at the finer details of that pour to really understand, is this under or over? And if you can't distinguish the difference between a slightly under extracted or slightly over extracted and perfect, then best option is to just get yourself the scale so you don't have to rely on any of your senses to understand it. Because if you know that I put 20 grams in and I get 40 mils out in 25 to 32 seconds, then that no I know that that's a good coffee. The other thing that I think people make mistakes when they're making coffees at home is they turn on the machine and once this light is says, I'm ready, they make their coffee. Don't do that because this metal here, this whole portafilter needs to heat up to be piping hot. And when you turn on the machine, sure, the water in the boiler boils in about a minute or two, but this takes a lot longer to heat up. You shouldn't be able to hold this for any length of time. Just hold it and then let go. Once it's that hot, you're gonna get a nice extraction. Under that, it's gonna be really bad. If it's not completely hot, it's going to under extract your coffee no matter what you do. You're just not gonna get a really nice coffee out of it because all that energy is spent heating up this metal instead of nicely extracting the oils from your coffee. Okay, now I'm gonna try it and see what it tastes like. Yeah, tasted quite sour, quite whatever that tastes like. And it doesn't really, I, I know it's not gonna cut through the milk very well. Now, if you're interested, please comment on this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as well, would be very helpful. And let me know if this helped you understand what you're making at home might be under extracted. Because I can go deeper, I can show you finer details of a 20 second extraction, a 25, a 30, a 35, and a 40 second extraction, just so you can see visually what we're talking about. They're very subtle differences, but I can do a longer video explaining that, but I just wanted to really address this problem right now because I see it happening all over the world. 
people are under extracting their coffee at home and they're blaming the beans or they're blaming the person that made it and they're blaming everything else but really you need to just look at your recipe understanding the ratios making sure that it is completely hot ready to go and when you're using specialty coffee if you don't extract it perfectly you're just wasting money i'm ryan your chief espresso officer enjoy your breakfast.